Manchester is blue. Man City have gone to Old Trafford and thrashed Man United 3-0. There are some big problems for Man United, which we're going to talk about. First, though, Man City with Rodri back. Uh, we're going to talk about that pen decision because that was a, uh, another VAR controversy to talk about. Uh, there was an Anthony situation as well. Should he have got a red card? It, it's all kicking off. Uh, we're going to talk, though, about Rodri being back, and that has really showed how important of a player he is. He won the penalty today, and he showed quality in the midfield. The games he hasn't been there, uh, they must have lost all of them, apart from one, I think. But Rodri's such an important player, and... You can see how it helps to have him back that game. The penalty uh, decision uh, where Hoyland held Robbery back, it seemed like pretty soft, but in the Premier League rules, it is a pen. The only thing I'm not happy about, uh, or what I'm not happy about with VAR, is the inconsistency. If you're going to give pens for that sort of thing, or if you're going to give fouls for that sort of thing, you're going to have to be consistent with it. Like, you can't change different things in different games. Like, they make the rules up as they as they go. Uh, it's, like, com- yeah, completely inconsistent. If you're going to give that as a pen, you're going to have to, like, give tons and tons of fouls every game. Uh, and pens every game, to be honest, because that happens all the time in the box. Like, on corners, everyone's scrambling about and like if you see someone tug a shirt if you're gonna give that as a pen you're gonna have to give other ones as a pen you know just inconsistent about it they are they need to either scrap it or like absolutely change it in a monumental way uh bernardo silver i thought really stood out for manchester city uh with Rodri back and Bernardo Silva on form at the moment, it looks like, then like that's a brilliant Man City midfield. Uh, that They'll probably help Man City get back to, I mean, we say get back to, what, with 10, now 11 games in, I think, Man City have had a little rough patch of three or four games. I think now they'll get back on it with Rodri back and with Bernardo Silva playing like that. Haaland, Pep had a talk to him. Uh, probably should have had four goals, to be honest. Only got two. That's probably why Pep had the talk to him. But like, he scores that so many goals, but he has like twice as many chances that he probably should score. So, yeah, Haaland as a player is... It, it's a weird one because he's he's... It's what he's meant to do. Stay up there, not really get involved, and then when the chance comes, pounce on it and score. Uh, and that is what he did against Man United. Should have got more from that. He's got like the perfect striker's instinct, um, always in the right place at the right time to score the goals. Um, yeah, United playing big teams. I've got on the notes. They they are going to get, like, if this is what's happening against Man City on the derby where your team should be up for it, then they're going to struggle against other other big teams. It was a stat I saw uh, against the top nine last season, away from home against the top nine. I know this one was at home, but away from home they got one point in the nine games they played away from home against the top nine teams. Like that that's unacceptable for Man United really. Lot lots of people saying it's Ten Hag's problem and that Ten Hag's done all this. Mm, I didn't know about that. Uh although he did choose to play Maguire and Johnny Evans today against Haaland who you know he's up for this derby. Not a brilliant decision in my opinion, Uh, but anyway, see you next time everyone, goodbye.